If you look up an early speed run of Elden Ring, there's a good chance you'll see the runner using the Ice Rind Hatchet. The early game availability and the OP Ash of War made it the best candidate for beating the game as fast as possible. Fortunately, a month after the release, the Ash of War was nerfed in a patch. But despite the huge nerf to the Ash of War speed, this weapon is still more than viable. The Ice Rind Hatchet is strange compared to many other frost-inflicting somber weapons. The weapon deals pure physical damage along with 65 frost build up. This lack of magical damage lets us hit harder, since we don't have to deal with any pesky magical resistance. Because we don't have to bother with that magic, we can forget about intelligence scaling in regards to the weapon AR. Then we can bump not strength, but dexterity straight to 80. This is kind of strange considering this is an axe, and this weapon is the only axe that scales significantly better with dexterity than strength. To max out your AR, I would not put a single point in the strength until you hit that 80 dex soft cap. Now let's get into the real reason why we're all using this weapon. The Ash of War, Hoarfrost Stomp, sends out a cone of icy spikes out from the caster. This hits anything in said cone when the spikes reach them, and when they explode a moment later. This move is perfect for when you need to keep your distance, proc a quick frostbite on your enemy, or just cheese the godskin duo fight, because we all know that you do that. One strange thing this Ash of War does is that it does scale with intelligence unlike the weapon itself. So any dex intelligence build out there getting tired of using Moonvale should head to Liurnia and pick this thing up immediately. For build specifics, I ran with the Green Turtle Talisman and Green Burst Crystal Tier for more stamina regen, Axe Talisman and the Stony Barbed Crack Tier for better charged attacks and more poise damage, Dragon Crest Great Shield and Uplifting Aromatic for better damage negation and a physical attack boost, and the Shard of Alexander for that OP Ash of War. For stats, I had 60 Vigor, 15 Mind, 30 Endurance to Light Roll, 19 Strength, and 80 Dexterity. The Ice Rind Hatchet may not be the monster it was on game release, but it still freezes the competition dead in its tracks. 